Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're gonna give you an in-depth review of the Baja Raptor 2 by Pride Mobility in the four-wheel configuration. So folks, the Baja Raptor 2 in the four-wheel configuration was released in the summer of 2023, and it's one of the best looking, fastest scooters made by Pride Mobility and part of the Baja series. Now, before we get started with this video, like always, I just wanna mention two quick things. Number one, if you want a copy of our product catalog, it's free, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out the simple short form, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that once a month, we give away a mobility scooter as part of our monthly raffle. All you have to do to join is subscribe to our YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and you could be the next lucky winner of our monthly giveaway like the last few winners that you're seeing on the screen now. It's super easy to do. You're already here, so just smash that subscribe button. Let's get started. Now, with that being said, what makes this model special is the fact that it has full suspension, the most impressive LED lighting kit I've ever seen. It has a front bumper guard, 16 inch inflatable tires on the front and the rear. That's going to give you an ultra smooth ride, regardless of what type of terrain you're on. Now, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because we're announcing something really special and you could win one of these scooters for free. That's right. So stay tuned to the end so you can learn how to win one of these scooters. We'll be explaining how to enter the giveaway for this model at the very end of this video. So again, I have the Baja Raptor 2 four wheel to my left, your right. Now to my right, your left, we have the three wheel version, which has been around for a little while already. They're pretty much both identical except for the obvious. One has three wheels, one has four. The three wheel is going to turn a little bit sharper. It's going to not have as much weight on the front end, so it will go one mile per hour faster than the four wheel, but the four wheel is gonna provide you with added stability and overall just better control off road. We've taken this thing off road on gravel, grass, all kinds of terrain types, and it handles like a champ. Now, if you don't already know, Pride Mobility is the most trusted name brand in mobility, and they are the parent company of the Baja series. So the Baja series is gonna be more of a recreational line. These are not mobility or medical grade scooters. That means medical insurance won't cover these models, unfortunately. What's nice about buying a product made by Pride Mobility is that you're gonna get an industry leading parts warranty. You're gonna get a lifetime limited warranty on the frame, a two year limited warranty on the drivetrain and the electronics, and a six month limited warranty on the batteries. Not only that, here's the kicker, you get a one year in-home repair contract. So if you do have a warranty claim related issue that's approved, Pride Mobility will dispatch a technician to your home. You don't need to bring it into a shop for the first year. Now I have my specification sheet here. I will go over some of the specs, but if you wanna see all the specs on this model, make sure you click on the link in the description. It's gonna take you to our website where you can see tons of specifications. Now this scooter has a 400 pound weight capacity and on a full charge, you're gonna get just under 22 miles. All right, now let's talk about some of the comfort adjustment features on this model. It has a really comfortable captain seat 20 inches wide, 18 inches deep. Memory foam comes with a seatbelt, comes with a height adjustable headrest, comes with flip up armrests. Not only that, the armrests are height and width adjustable. Let me show you what I mean by that. If we look right here, you just need an Allen key. There's a set screw in there. If you loosen that set screw, the armrest can be adjusted uh, with their height. So you can lift it up or lower it and then tighten that to set it. You also have the same type of set screw here in the back. So if you loosen this up and it gets loose enough, you can pull this pin out, 
and the armrest will slide outward or in so you can adjust the overall width of your armrest, giving the user more space between each armrest. We also have a one inch universal hitch receiver. These hitch receivers are used to hold universal accessories like a large rear shopping basket, an oxygen tank holder, a walker holder, and many other types of accessories that you can see on our website. It's a really convenient feature, great to have, and it's just as simple as pulling out that quick release pin, removing your accessory, and you're back in action. Now, if you look at the back of the seat, you do have a nice little pouch where you can keep your user manual, your charger, and a couple of your belongings. You also have a light kit in the back, not just the front. Your turn signals are gonna be nice and illuminated back there. Here's a lock. Now that lock is used for the storage compartment. So you take your key out of the ignition, go ahead and turn it, and look at that. We've got our charger in there and our user manual, plenty of storage space. It's not too difficult, but if you wanna change the batteries, they're in there underneath this plastic. And we have another video where we'll show you how to change the batteries if you need to learn how to do that. Make sure you check that out. Now this is the charger that it comes with. We're gonna put that back, but we will show you where the charging port is located. So this is the charger. One end goes into the wall. When it's plugged in, you're gonna have a red light letting you know that the power is on the charger. When you plug this in, it goes right here in the front. So you just get the three pin barrel connector lined up with the three pin port, plug it right in, and you're gonna notice your both lights will be red when it's fully charged, the bottom light will turn green. Something else that's pretty awesome is that you do get a USB charging port adapter which plugs into your charging port and boom, you got a USB charging port which you can plug in your USB chargers with. So if your phone has a USB charging cable, plug your charging cable right there and you can charge your phone while on the go using the scooter's batteries and this adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in our little storage cubby and we'll talk about some of the other features. This storage cubby is pretty large. You can definitely put a nice bottle of water on each side, your purse, keys, a couple of your personal belongings, pretty convenient. All right, so it comes with the seat belt. I'm gonna go ahead and get in. I like to lift the armrests up. I use the rotate or the seat slider lever, which I'll throw on the screen. You can slide the seat all the way back to make room. Go ahead and get in your seat and then put the armrest back down. Now to control this unit, we'll go ahead and come in close with the camera and show you the controls. We have a thumb pad throttle, throttle control on the right side where my thumb is. So you wanna first put it in forward mode or reverse mode with this switch and if you hit the throttle pad, it's gonna move. Right now I'm in low gear. If you wanna go full speed, you put it in high gear. Now it has automatic brakes, so you're gonna hear the brakes disengage when I hit the throttle, it's gonna click. And as soon as I let go, it clicks again after about a second. Those are the brakes kicking in, so it's not gonna roll around uncontrollably if you let go of the throttle and you're on a hill. You do have supplemental um, disc brakes on the left side, so if you're going full speed and the automatic brakes are just gonna take too long to kick in, you can use the disc brakes and it's gonna come to a stop really, really quickly. While we're here, I just wanna show you that you do have your high beam switch for your headlight. You have your turn signal switch here, which you can deactivate by pushing inwards and it's gonna let go of the turn signals. We have a horn here, which is pretty loud. <laughs> you actually have a secondary horn button on the right side as well. So you've got one on the left and the right. On this side, you've got your main light switch. So you can go from just having the both lights on, single light on, or no lights at all. And last but not least, we have the LCD display here, which shows you your speed, your odometer, and your battery charge status. Pretty easy to read, nice backlit display, super modern. By the way, it also comes with two mirrors free of charge, which is nice. You don't have to pay anything extra for that. All right, folks, so we're gonna wrap up this video and a few things, as promised, I wanted to tell you at the end of this video how you could win one of these scooters. We are doing a special giveaway at 50,000 subscribers. That's right, we're pretty close. We're at about 35,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Once we get to 50, we're gonna announce the winner and here's how you enter the giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section with hashtag Baja Raptor 2, no spaces, hashtag Baja Raptor 2 in the comments. If you leave a comment, you're entered into the giveaway. So make sure you comment on this video. And remember, if you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video about this product, you can also put your question in the comment section. We will answer them. 
One other thing I want you to know before we go is that in our next video, we're gonna compare the Raptor four wheel to the EW46. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. These are our two most popular high speed four wheel scooters on the market. And we're gonna tell you why the Baja Raptor 2 blows this one out of the water in our next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. I can't thank you enough for watching and supporting our YouTube channel. Till next time, everybody, have a great day.